Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel, Shadow Marie. Today I'll be doing my most anticipated releases for July, August, and September. Let's start off with July. So I have everything in chronological order. The first book that I am really excited for is Girl, Serpent, Thorn by Melissa Bashadors. This one comes out on July 7th. This one's actually kind of interesting because I actually read this book for my May ARC reading vlog, which will be up sometime soon like either before this or after this i'm not sure because this book was supposed to come out in may so yeah but it got pushed back and it's now coming out in july i actually really adore this book i get this book four stars so this book is about a girl called soraya who was born poisonous to the touch which means that anyone who touches her any creature who touches her they will die so she has lived her entire life in isolation and she's also the crown princess and this is all due to something that happened to her mother many years ago before she was even born and it had something to do with her mother's encounter with a div which are these demonic being like immortal being something like that so after many years her entire life in isolation she was finally done with it and with the help of a new palace guard she ends up finding a way to get rid of the poison inside of her and being able to become a normal girl but of course once she does that she realized that there might be more to the story than she had imagined i adored this book i gave this book four stars and i definitely recommend this book so not only am I highly anticipating this book, I am also highly recommending this one as well. Then the next book that I am very excited for is Unravel the Dusk by Elizabeth Lim. This one also comes out on July 7th. Actually, now that I think about it, all the books in July that I'm excited for are coming out on the 7th. So clearly, July 7th is the day, guys. So this is the sequel to Spin the Dawn, and it basically just follows the aftermath of Maya's journey after she collected and was able to sew the three magical dresses. And she returns to a kingdom at the brink of war and just the aftermath of it all. I adored the first book, so I am so excited for this one. I think it's a very good chance I will try to pick this up for my July arc reading vlog. So definitely be on the lookout for that in case you wanted to hear more about my thoughts while reading this book. The next book I am very excited for is Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Bayron. This one also is out on July 7th. This one is such a unique take on Cinderella. It's basically set 200 years after the whole Cinderella story takes place and now every year girls are actually required to attend the annual ball. So this book follows a girl called Sophia who I guess this year is her year to attend the ball but she is much more interested in marrying her best friend Erin and somehow due to events at the ball she somehow encounters Constance who is the last known descendant of Cinderella as well as her stepsisters and together they somehow find a way to take down the king as well as discover that there might be a lot more to the whole Cinderella story than they had ever known. So I'm just so intrigued by this book. The cover is gorgeous. I love my retellings. I love this fresh unique take on it with diverse characters so I definitely cannot wait to read this soon. Then the next book I'm excited for is The Princess Will Save You by Sarah Henning. This one is about a crown princess. Her name is Amarande. After her father dies, she is given an ultimatum where she has to either marry one of the four neighboring kingdoms, like marry into them, or she has to give up her crown. And basically, to force her hand, her beloved, who is a stable hand, gets kidnapped. But the thing is, she was raised as a warrior and not a sacrifice. So she goes on a quest to save her beloved as well as her kingdom. And it just sounds like a lot of feminist power, and I am so here for that. Then this next book is The Crow Rider by Kaylin Josephson. This one is also out on July 7th. This is the sequel to The Storm Crow, which I also really enjoy. I feel like that book definitely had its pros and cons, but overall, I really enjoyed it. So I I am really intrigued by what will happen next. The first book follows Princess Thea who is basically just trying to take back her kingdom after it was invaded by what, what was it like the Eleucian Empire and they also destroy their magical elemental crows and she somehow manages to find one single crow egg and by figuring out a way to hatch this egg she was able to hatch a plan to take back her kingdom. So I definitely enjoyed the first books. I am really intrigued by how this book will continue and I will also most likely be picking this up for my July arc just because I actually requested this one so I should probably read this sooner than later. So the last book that I'm excited for for July is actually more of an honorable mention mainly because I haven't read the first book so I don't really feel like I am really qualified to be really anticipating it because I haven't read the first one. I might hate the first one once I read it so uh, but this one is The Damned by Renee Adi and this one also comes out on July 7th. All I know is that this is the sequel to The Beautiful and has something to do with vampires and it's set in New Orleans I want to say. But I've heard some pretty great things about this book so I am very excited for it. Now moving on to my August books. The first one I'm excited for is The Dark Tide by Alicia 
Jessica. This one, I believe, was supposed to come out in June, according to this arc, but it's coming out in August now. So this book follows two girls who must choose between saving themselves, each other, or save their island from sinking. There is a witch queen who, to save her island from sinking every year, she must lure a boy into her castle to for a sacrifice and the other character is a girl who is trying to save her brother as well as her beloved from being that sacrifice and what happens when the queen and the girl meet for whatever reason and they fall in love so this book just sounds intriguing i love the cover it just looks absolutely stunning so i definitely cannot wait to read this the next book i'm excited for is set fire to the gods by sarah rash and kristen simmons this one is also out on august 4th and it follows gladiators and elementary gods and how these two characters somehow uncover an ancient war that will unravel the world so i'm just so intrigued by this concept i don't really read that many books with gladiators involved much less with elemental gods put in there as well so it just sounds like a really fascinating mix and i am psyched for it then the next book that i'm excited for is star daughter by sveta thakarar I feel like I definitely butchered that name. I am so sorry. That one comes out on August 11th. This is a Hindu mythology meets contemporary and it follows a girl. Her name is Sheetal who is a daughter of a human as well as a star. One day something happens and she accidentally sends her human father into the hospital. And unfortunately only a full star can save her father. So to save her father she ends up going to the celestial court and goes on a quest to be her family's champion. And she has to win this competition or risk never to return to earth so this book just sounds absolutely amazing and the cover is stunning like i love the whole black and gold theme so i am so here for that cover just by that alone the next book that i'm excited for is vicious spirits by kat cho this one's out on august 18th this is the sequel to wicked fox which i absolutely adored it's just about korean mythology with gumi hoes set in a contemporary setting and it was a lot of fun reading that book so I definitely cannot wait to find out more about Mi Young and Ji Hoon and just see how the two of them are going to pick up the pieces after what happened at the end of the first book and kind of just return back to normalcy but of course other supernatural entities are being involved as well. Then the last book that I'm interested in that's coming out in August is also an honorable mention just because I haven't read the first book as well and I've also heard some problematic things about I forget if it's the book or the author but I'm definitely going in with a grain of salt, but I'm still pretty excited for it. But that's why this book is an honorable mention. And that is Herald the Ninth by Tamsin Muir. All I know is something to do with like necromancy and something set in space as well. I've heard mixed things about the first book, but I've heard that the ending is mind-blowing and you really need to pick up the second as soon as possible. So I don't know. I'm pretty excited for it though, even though I've heard some stuff about this book or the author. But either way, I'm still intrigued. So we're finally at the last month and that is September. The first book that I'm so excited for which I've also heard some problematic things but I personally really enjoyed it either way and that is Blood and Honey by Shelby Maherin. This one comes out on September 1st. This is the sequel to Serpent and the Dove and it follows a witch and a witch hunter who are somehow forced into marriage in the first book and kind of their adventures after that. I loved it. I do know there is some problematic content with this book but that still didn't deter me from enjoying it overall. So I'm still really excited for the sequel. Then the next book that I'm really excited for is one that is kind of out there. Um, I haven't read any of this books in so long, but I read his books and really enjoyed it when I was back in, I don't know, like middle school or high school. And he's finally out with a new book. And that is To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher Paolini. This one is out on September 15th. All I know is that this is a space opera that follows a xenobiologist, which I don't even know what that means. And somehow she, uncovers or discovers some sort of alien relic that will alter human history forever and it just sounds so fascinating i actually read the first few chapters for like a sneak peek and i really enjoyed it so i am so much more interested to find out what will happen next then this next book is also another one that got pushed back very very late actually and that is the silvered serpent by roshni chokshi this one is out on september 22nd it was supposed to come out originally in february so it basically got pushed back like almost a whole year and i'm really curious i don't even know why to be honest but i really enjoyed the first book this is the sequel to the gilded wolves and the first book just basically follows a group of diverse characters who go on some sort of heist and kind of the aftermath of it all there's a lot of magical elements to it a lot of intrigue it was a little bit confusing a lot of puzzle solving mysteries but i ultimately really enjoyed it it definitely took some time for me to really love it but i think once i got past a certain point it just kind of came together and i really fell in love with the book so i am really excited for the sequel and 
I've been waiting for it to come out, like getting closer to the release date so I can read it. Um, but yeah, I'm just excited and definitely cannot wait to read this soon. So the last book that I'm excited for that's coming out in September is A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. This one comes out on September 29th. So this book is set in Sholomance, which is this magical school for magically gifted individuals. And the only rule for this school is survive. Like, there's no other option. Like, you either survive or if you fail, then you die. And there's also a bunch of monsters just lurking around everywhere. Um, I'm not really sure how. But it follows a girl called Elle who has the ability to wipe out millions and for her being able to dodge and avoid these monsters should be a piece of cake because of her ability but at the same time she also has to be aware and be careful that she might accidentally wipe out the other students as well. I'm just excited for this one because I really really enjoyed her previous book Smitting Silver. It was a fantastic read. It was just whimsical, it was magical, I just loved it. So as soon as I saw that she had another book coming out I was really like this is my most anticipated release for sure. So anyways, that is it in terms of my most anticipated releases for July, August, and September. Let me know down below which books are you most excited for? Were any of the ones I mentioned on here on your anticipated release as well? Did I recommend any new books for you guys to add on to your TBR? Let me know down below. But as always, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!